I'm getting into a little bit of lightweight camping every once in a while and I found that the cook kit that I normally use is heavy, cumbersome and it doesn't really pack down very small. Now buying titanium stuff is not necessarily going to solve all of my problems but um, it, definitely takes, it definitely takes care of the weight. So I'll tell you about each of these little pieces and um, then we'll go from there. Yay. Alright guys, so if you're going to go out for a hike or you just want cookware that's going to last you forever and doesn't weigh much, titanium is going to get you there. Now, keeping in mind, a lot of the titanium pieces are sort of made and built smaller than the normal sort of stuff. So you might not have as much capacity as you do with the regular cookware, but um, man, for the weight and size that you gain, I think it's really good. So let me start off with the cooking side. So I've got two of these little Vago Trihad multi-fuel stoves. I've used them extensively. Um, it's a 44 mil capacity, so this is gonna burn for about 10 minutes, roughly, depending on your altitude, the ambient temperature, and uh, how much, um, how much fuel you put in. It burns for about 10 minutes on um, ethanol or methylated spirits or shellite or whatever, about 10 minutes on this guy. If you need to cook for longer than that, you're gonna have to sort of let it cool down, put in more fuel, light it again, wait for it to prime. So it is a little bit hard, but it'll definitely get you there. Comparing this to a normal size stove with a gas canister, I mean, it makes, <laughs> you can't compare the two. So I've got two of these little guys. Next up, I've got these two Lexada titanium stoves. Now these are cool because you can fit the, uh, the triad right in there or at the bottom, but you can also fuel this with wood or twigs. So if you get in a position where, you know, you're in a position where you can have some fire or whatever, you can load this up with sticks um, or twigs or leaves or whatever, and then cook that way. And these also weigh absolutely nothing. And they're totally tiny. They're really, really stable. You put uh, pots and pans right on top of them. They pull air really well. Um, I like these a lot. I haven't used these yet, but I'm gonna. <laughs> um, so those are my little Luxada stoves. Then these little things are probably the most useful out of all the kit that I've bought. So this is a 450 milliliter cup slash bowl slash plate slash whatever you want to do with it. Um, these handles fold down flat so it packs down so this can nest with a bunch of them if you if you need more than one um, these are great for serving dishes they're great for boiling a quick cup of water or whatever you want i really really rate these and they don't weigh anything at all um, i'm super surprised at how lightweight these things are and um, they last you forever as well so i've got two of those Next up, I've got my little Rock Creek pot. Now this is a, I think this is a 500 mil. Yeah, so it's rated up to 500 mil. Obviously you can put a little bit more liquid in it, but this is a little teeny tiny pot. So it's a small little pot. I hope you can see that. Um, it's got handles. It's got a hook so you can hang it up if you need to. Um, this is great for like boiling water, making a little stew, um, reheating some old food or food from yesterday or leftovers or whatever. I think this is fantastic. Um, I do want to get a slightly larger version of this, but for now, I think for me, if I'm single, if I'm solo camping and it's just myself, I think this is great. Um, it's got a little lid that really sits on quite tight, so you don't have to worry about that. So that's cool. Next up, I've got my frying pan. So this is a Boundless Voyage frying pan. It's got a lid, which is great, and then the actual pan itself. So I'm gonna be using this tonight um, as both something to cook on and to eat out of, which I think is really, really awesome for something like this. Once again, it weighs absolutely nothing. Um, it's titanium, so you could fill this up with coals as well if you wanna cook something down, like a little small little pizza or some nachos or whatever. I think that's really nice. That's great. So having a pan with a lid is incredibly useful um, if you're going out camping. You never know when you're going to need a lid or put stuff on top or steam stuff while you're doing it. Um, this does have drainage holes as well, which is really cool. I really like this little piece. It's awesome. And then the piece de, res de la resistance, my boundless voyage grill. So this is a flat grill. 
this goes on a fire sauce or a heat sauce or whatever and you can put your eggs or bacon or steak chicken whatever you want even a pizza you can put on this um, and I think that's amazing because the, the handles will fold down it's totally flat it's relatively easy to pack and once again it, it doesn't weigh anything it's phenomenal and the titanium looks really really good quality so this is going to last me a very very long time um, it's super easy to clean um, I've seasoned these a couple of times and uh, I've scraped them down and put them through the ringer and holding up really really well um, so there we go so in my opinion this is the basic sort of starting titanium lightweight cooking point um, your mileage may vary you might want something else you might want a mess tin or whatever um, this is what I like this is what I've purchased for my kit um, what I'm still gonna get is a slightly larger pot um, I think um, I'll probably end up going for the Boundless Voyage larger size pot. It's very similar to the size of the pan, but maybe a little bit wider. Um, so I think the pan will be able to nest in there. But it's also got a steaming tray in the pot with a lid. And that lid also doubles as a frying pan. So that'll give me two frying pans and two pots, which I think is great. Um, oh, one thing I didn't mention is if you're going to be doing teeny tiny little alcohol serves like that, you really need to get yourself a wind guard because these things are incredibly susceptible to wind. So I've got this aluminium wind guard. Um, I think this is a companion one. Yes, it's a companion wind guard, aluminium. It absolutely weighs nothing. Some of them are quite weighty. This weighs nothing and it'll cover my entire kit, whatever I need to do with it. Um, that's really nice. So guys, in closing, if you're going to be getting into titanium cookware and titanium camping stuff, be careful. It's very easy to buy stuff you don't need. Think about it carefully. Think about each meal you're going to make. Make sure that you buy the right equipment for what you need. Um, and yeah, this is my absolute basic kit. Um, so if I had to sum it up for you. Oops, let me put this down. So as far as cooking for one, maybe two, this will get you there. The grill plate, the pan, two cups and a little pot, definitely get you there. Um, from a heat source perspective, I highly recommend getting some of these. Um, the cool thing about them is they're their own wind guard as well. So they do a really good job of blocking wind if you, got a, if you do have a, a little alcohol stove in there. Um, so that's really cool. And they also pack down flat and they don't like weigh anything. So that's wicked cool. Um, and then from an alcohol stove perspective, guys, there are so many alcohol stoves out there. Um, you know, your mileage may vary. Pick the one you like. They're all pretty much the same. Um, yeah, I like these just because they're really small and flat. And um, I'll link a review on, on this guy for you up at the top. But um, there you go. So was, this is my new titanium kit. And the cool, cool thing about it is I don't have to worry about this when I'm packing it. Um, it just goes in my kit. I just chuck it in. It's, it's metal. Like You don't have to stress about this stuff, which is really nice. Um, it doesn't have any non-stick coatings or any bullshit like that, so it's fairly forgiving. So yeah, there we go. I hope you found that useful. If there's any questions about titanium cookware or anything like that, please pop them below in the comments. And um, please consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel a lot. If not, just enjoy the video. I hope you stay around for a few more. There we go. Thanks, guys. Thanks for stopping in. And um, I'm going to get dinner on, and uh, I'll come back to you. Yay!